Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. I'm Krish and you are watching Krish Code. Okay, so uh, in this new series uh, that I'm calling Code Chat, uh, I am going to talk about code and uh, related topics uh, in, in the coding and software engineering uh, sort of space. We can talk about, uh, you know, different stuff like uh, questions, uh, like common questions that my viewers, you, you guys, you viewers, uh, that you are asking me. Or uh, maybe just like uh, topics that I want to talk about, uh, that I think is fun to chat about. And um, yeah, we're just gonna chat about code basically. And also, I think I maybe in the future we will have some guests as well. So we can have like, um, I will be there and maybe I will have some guests. We can talk about code uh, together and uh, sort of um, make the conversation a bit more, a bit more uh, like maybe exciting if we have many people talking about uh, a, like a software engineering topic. So uh, in this video, uh, I want to talk about a question that uh, I have been asked a couple of times. Uh, a few of you guys uh, uh, DM me on Instagram and uh, a lot of people ask me uh, if I am a beginner, which programming language should I learn first or how do I get started uh, with programming? So. So um, I think I'm just gonna talk to you, like uh, tell you my personal uh, like experience, how I started learning programming, and uh, how how I think uh, some tips that I maybe uh, can give you to get you started with your programming uh, sort of career. The first thing that I uh, sort of I want to uh, tell you is that you shouldn't uh, worry too much about which programming language you uh, want to start with because the thing with programming uh, as maybe some people know is that uh, when you can program in one language it's really really easy to pick up new languages and learn uh, other languages as well so once you have sort of, once you understand the uh, like core um, concepts of programming, um, it will be really, really easy to then go on and build um, or code in other languages as well. So, so there's not really much difference between different languages. It's just like it's sort of like the same core concepts anyway. So that's the first thing, uh, don't worry too much about which language you learn, just start with something. So one language that I would recommend for beginners is uh, JavaScript. And the reason why I think that JavaScript is a good beginner language is because uh, JavaScript is used very, very in widely. So it's, um, it's used to build um, web applications, it's used to build server applications, so APIs and stuff like that. You can use it to build Android apps and iOS apps and you know, it's basically a language that nowadays we can use everywhere in, a whole, in the whole stack, so it's a full stack language. And what that means is that if you learn JavaScript, uh, you, you sort of learn the core concepts of programming, you learn one language and then uh, later when you sort of get more knowledge and, uh, and understand a bit more, you can then specialize in one area. So you can like, maybe you want to build uh, Android apps or maybe you want to build uh, server applications or maybe something else. You know, you might, might not know in the beginning, but the good thing about JavaScript is that uh, it's used everywhere. So if you learn JavaScript as your first language, you can then 
go on and sort of uh, choose your specialized area that you want to work in. So, so that's why I would recommend JavaScript because it's like a common, widely used and popular language. And there's a lot of jobs uh, available in JavaScript. And um, it's just a nice language that you can use uh, and uh, have a very... Um, you will have a very good... Uh, it's very good to know JavaScript, even though you might not use it in your daily job. It's, it's always good to know JavaScript. So uh, that's just what I think. Uh, that's my, my opinion. Also, I wanted to talk about how you should start learning. So say that you are learning, you, you have your language that you want to learn, uh, but how do I get started? So there's a few different uh, options you can have uh, on this. You can maybe do as I did. So I started with programming in high school. And um, so some high schools, at least in Sweden, I know, that some high schools have like uh, programming courses that you can sort of uh, uh, sort of study in your um, high school program. Uh, so uh, maybe you should look at that and see if your school has some uh, programming courses that you can take. Or there's also like a bunch of these uh, so-called boot camps where this is, is basically it's basically like a um, a very intense course that maybe takes place uh, in like uh, a couple of months and uh, at these boot camps uh, you learn like everything that you have to learn in order to work as a professional developer so if you have like uh, if you want to get started really really fast and you want to start working in the industry uh, fairly quickly uh, boot camps are really good uh, if you want to like get started right away. Uh, the thing though with boot camps is that I've heard that uh, they are very very intense. So you really have to like prepare for them and you have to study really really hard for like during the boot camp. So it's going to be like it's going to be a lot to learn in such a small window. Uh, but it's very good if you if you are uh, you know excited about it and want to like learn it as quick as possible so that's boot camps uh, and then you can also do as I did uh, go to university and study like a, a you know computer science um, program or something like that is related to programming uh, but of course that takes a bit longer so you usually have to study like a couple of years in university and um, and it's a little bit different. It, it's uh, you, in university you learn a bunch of uh, you know theoretical stuff that maybe you won't use as much in your day-to-day -day job. Um, so, uh, but for example, in the boot camps you learn like um, uh, very much like uh, sort of hands-on work, where, uh, the stuff that you actually use in your day-to-day -day programming job. So, um, yeah, so there's different types of uh, paths that you can take. So you can either, uh, as I said, take the boot camp, camp, uh, the boot camp way and study really hard for a short time and then get the job quick. Or if you have time and you don't, uh, you're not in a rush and you maybe, maybe want to go to university and uh, spend a couple of years there and uh, get some experience and maybe do some internships while while you study and stuff like that. Uh, and also if you're in high school there should be uh, some, pro some courses that you can take uh, alongside with your current uh, courses. And um, yeah, that's just like a couple of different ways that you can get started. So, um, and also if all those uh, options seem kind of like far away and you just wanna, you just wanna like uh, get a taste for programming, like and uh, you know fiddle around and uh, sort of see if it fits you and if it if you like it, uh, there is a very good website. Where there's like many different websites uh, where you can um, where you can um, 
learn code in sort of like a um, program. So it's like a website where you can, where they have courses and you can can do the courses uh, on your own computer and it uh, doesn't, it's free as well. So uh, there's one site called Code Academy, uh, which is exactly what, what I said. Uh, they have a bunch of courses uh, and you can pick different languages and you can do everything for free. And it's, uh, it's really nice actually, it's really good. So I have used that a lot when I started learning uh, programming. And um, yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say with this video is that there's are, there are many different um, there are many different paths you can take when you start to learn programming and uh, I think that every person should choose uh, the path that feels right to them so so maybe you want to go to university or if you don't maybe you can do a boot camp if you don't want to do a boot camp you can always you know study really hard on your own and do like code academy courses and um, there's so many different ways you can do it but uh, the most important thing i think is that uh, you just go ha you just have to start basically just start uh, go to like some uh, websites and watch some YouTube videos, tutorials, and just uh, you know get started. Uh, that's the most important thing I I think at least. Just get started and uh, see how it feels basically. If you and if you think that it's really fun, you can always there's always some uh, path that you can choose in the future. But as long as you get started, start coding and sort of. Uh, get into the into the programming mindset uh, as long as you do that I think you will uh, find your own path eventually so uh, yeah that's sort of um, my own uh, thoughts on this and uh, you know uh, let me know if you uh, if you have your own story um, about how you started programming or if you have any other questions you can always uh, ask me in the comments or whatever on the social media and um, yeah let's just like keep the conversation going in the comments and um, uh, yeah and as I said this is just like my personal experience and opinions so and other people might uh, tell you something else there's like a lot of as I said as we, as we talked about in this, in this video there's like so many different types of uh, educations and different paths that you can that you can choose so uh, this is just some of it and uh, some, of my, some of my you know thoughts and um, and my stories so um, and I hope it was useful useful uh, for you and um, and uh, hopefully it will sort of if you're a beginner and want to learn programming it should can maybe um, maybe this will uh, sort of guide you a little bit uh, on where you should get uh, started okay so uh, that's it for this video and I hope you uh, enjoyed it and if you did I would appreciate it if you uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video okay